everyone welcome to this video by Intelliband in this video we take a look at public key cryptography public key cryptography is a lock and key system that keeps online conversation and transactions safe it helps to protect sensitive information like passwords messages and otps it ensures that only the intended recipient can access it making the online world a lot safer let's take a look at our agenda we would start off with what is public key cryptography then we will learn the working of public key cryptography and then we'll go through the characteristic of public key cryptography and the attacks involved in public key cryptography lastly we have some of the use cases and applications of public key cryptography before we start please make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us now let's start with the first topic what is public key cryptography public key cryptography is a class of cryptographic protocols based on algorithms that helps to protect digital transactions messages and other information just like lock and key protecting things in real world public key cryptography helps to protect transactions and ensure only the right person can access the information the method of cryptography requires two separate keys private and public public key cryptography uses a pair of key to encrypt and decrypt data to protect it against unauthorized access data encrypted with public key can be decrypted only with a private key imagine tom and jack are solving jigsaw puzzle they both have two types of puzzle pieces lock piece and key piece tom creates a special lock piece the piece has a unique shape that only fits with the key piece tom shares his lock piece with everyone this is a public puzzle piece he also shares a picture of completed puzzle but keeps the key piece hidden the picture is like a public design jack also does the same thing sharing his public piece the lock piece and the puzzle design when jack wants to send a secret message to tom he uses the lock piece to lock the piece of puzzle the lock piece can be opened only with the key piece which is the missing part of the public design Tom receives the lock puzzle piece. He uses his private key piece to unlock it and can now see the message Jack hidden behind the puzzle. Jack has a private key piece for unlocking the puzzle sent to Tom. So public key cryptography is like having these puzzle pieces. Your friend's lock piece is public and can be shared just like the puzzle design. The key piece is private and only a friend can use it to unlock the message hidden behind the locked puzzle piece. This way secret messages can be sent and received safely even if others can see the locked puzzle piece. So the next topic is working of public key cryptography. The working of public key cryptography involves the following steps. Firstly we have key generation. A user generates a private key and a corresponding public key. The private key remains confidential and is stored securely but whereas the public key can be communicated to their partners then we have encryption a sender let's say san intended to send a message which is in the form of plain text to recipient zain using zain's public key san encrypts the data to form a cipher text then we have decryption zain receives the cipher text Adds his private key to it. This process ensures that Zain possesses the private key and can access the original plain text. Now let's see some of the characteristics of public key cryptography. First one is two key for a secret chat. Imagine you and your friend wants to have a secret conversation. Instead of using the same key to lock and unlock a message, you can have your own special lock and key. one key to lock and the other to unlock you can share your public key with others but the private key is a secret sharing secret safely you can give your public key to anyone you want to communicate with they can use it to lock the message only you and your private key can be unlocked to read those message this way if someone intercept the locked message they can read it without the private key digital signatures Let's say you want to prove the message you sent was really from you and haven't tampered it. You sign the message with a private key. Others can use your public key to verify the signature is authentic and the message hasn't changed. 
सिक्योर ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग पब्लिक की क्रिप्टोग्राफी हेल्प्स टू कीप यू ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग सेफ एंड यू बाई समथिंग यू कंप्यूटर एंड द स्टोर्स कंप्यूटर यूज पब्लिक कीज टू क्रिएट सिक्योर चैनल फॉर सेंडिंग यू क्रेडिट कार्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन ओनली द स्टोर्स प्राइवेट की कैन अनलॉक योर पेमेंट डिटेल्स एंश्योरिंग दैट योर इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टे सेफ फ्रॉम अदर प्रेइंग आइस सेफ पासवर्ड रिकवरी पब्लिक की क्रिप्टोग्राफी कैन हेल्प रीसेट फॉर गॉट एन पासवर्ड सिक्योरली Instead of sending your actual password, the service can send a special lock message. You unlock it using your private key to prove you are the account owner and reset the password. Locking data in cloud. Public key cryptography can help protect the files in cloud. You can lock your files using the public key before uploading them. Even if the cloud service get hacked, your files remain safe because only you have the private key to unlock them. Moving on, let's see the attacks involved in public key cryptography. First one is man in middle attack. Picture two people passing secret notes through a third person who intercept and reads the notes before passing them along. In man in the middle attack, an attacker intercepts the communication between two parties, pretending to be each party. They can decrypt and read the message. potentially altering them before passing them on proper authentication techniques and the use of digital signature can help prevent this type of attack chosen cipher text attack think of attackers as someone who can tamper with lock box and observe how they react with the unlock in a chosen cipher text attack an attacker can send an encrypted message to the system and observe how it responds This can provide insights in the encrypted process and potentially reveal the private keys. Secure encryption schemes involve padding and other mechanism to make it difficult for the attackers to gain useful information from such interactions. Side channel attack. Imagine a detector figures out a secret based on how loud a lock sound can be opened. In a side channel attack, attackers gather information from the physical characteristics of encryption process such as power consumption timing and electromagnetic emission these clues help them to deduce the private key countermeasure includes designing cryptographic implementation that does not leak such information lastly we have key management attack consider someone stealing a key you have left out and open in a key management attack An attacker targets weaknesses in how keys are generated, stored and exchanged. If they can get hold of the private key, they can decrypt the message and even imprisonate you. Proper key storage, distribution and management practices are crucial to mitigate these type of attacks. Now let's see some of the use cases and applications of public key cryptography. Secure online banking and transaction Public key cryptography is widely used in online banking and financial transactions to ensure security and privacy of sensitive information. When you make an online payment or access your bank account, public key cryptography helps to encrypt your data such as credit card details or account information during transmission. This encryption prevents unauthorized parties from intercepting and accessing your financial details, ensuring that your transaction remain confidential and secure. Then we have secure email communication. Public key cryptography is utilized in email encryption solution tools that allows users to encrypt their email messages and attachments using the recipient's public key. Only the intended recipient who possesses the corresponding public key can decrypt and read the message. Ensuring sensitive information shared via email is protected from unauthorized access. Digital signature for document integration. Public key cryptography enables the creation of digital signature which serves as a digital equivalent of handwritten signature organizations and individuals use signatures to authenticate the original and integrity of digital document contracts and agreements by signing a document with private key the sender ensures that the document hasn't been tampered virtual private networks for secure remote access Public key cryptography plays a crucial role in ensuring VPNs, 
When users connect to VPN to access a corporate network or browse the internet securely, public key cryptography is used to establish encrypted communication channel between user's device and the VPN server. This encryption ensures that data transmitted between the users and the servers remain confidential, protecting sensitive information. So guys, that's all for today's session. Hope the video gave a good understanding about public key cryptography. If you liked it, don't forget to like the video and also make sure to subscribe to IntelliPath YouTube channel to come across more updates like this. Thank you. Happy learning IntelliPath. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers advanced certification in cybersecurity by E and ICT IIT Guwahati. The advanced certification in cybersecurity program aims to help you gain expertise and knowledge in cybersecurity. The IIT Guwahati faculties will help you cover all the required cybersecurity skills such as cryptography, ethical hacking, application securities, etc. Also, you'll get to master tools such as Linux, SQL, Nikto, and Microsoft Baseline. With all these courses, we have already had thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonial on our Achievers channel whose link is given below in the description. Without a doubt, this course can set your careers to great heights. So visit our course page. Repeat. So visit our course page on the link given below in the description. Take your first step towards the career growth in the field of cybersecurity.